Kaz, yeah. I need some help. Okay. Could you help me understand the game of rugby? I can, but to start off with, that's an American football. Okay. Not a rugby ball. So if, yeah. Let's start off with how many players we need on each team. I'm actually joking. Okay. I do now understand rugby. I've been watching things. I know the difference between a tight head and a loose head prop, but that's for another video. Yep. There is something else you could help me with rather more important. Okay. This is my Bible. And okay. I know that reading the Bible is a really valuable thing to do. I've learned that, and at times when I have read it, it's done me good. But I must say, I find it really hard. The Bible is very long. It's yep. large. It's full of lots of words. There's six, 66 books. 1,185 chapters, yep. there's notes, there's footnotes, there's numbers, there's funny names and if I'm honest, it's, it's hard work. Can you help me? I can. Okay. One of the things I think we should do is that we should read it together. Right. And I think we should read the New Testament, so start in the book where it starts from Matthew so that's to the, the stuff, end. That's the stuff near the, the stuff back. about Jesus. Yeah. And we should read all of that together in eight weeks starting in the new year. Okay. How much do I have to read? So, let's say, put that one away. Put this one away? Yeah. Okay, so I'll put this one down. What are you going to give me instead? And let me introduce you to another resource. That's a let more manageable size. Yep. Okay, so this is, so this it's is called Messiah. Yep. But what is it? So it's the whole New Testament. Okay. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all the way all to those, Revelation. All that stuff, yeah. Yep. And it's all in there. Why don't you open it up, have a look, and tell me what the difference is between that and the big one that you just showed me. Well, the first thing I'm aware of is that I need to put my glasses on to read it properly. Uh, what about other people like me who can't? Well, we can get a large print oh, version. Oh, yeah, a large print it. version? Yep. Ah, fantastic. Okay. But, well, the first thing I notice is that it's not in columns, because whenever you read the Bible, it's got each page has two columns on. Yeah. I don't know why. Do you know why? I, I don't know why I either. That's the thing. There's no verse and chapter numbers breaking it up. Yeah. No. And little headings they put in that yeah. say what's what's yeah. going on. And okay. do you know all of that wasn't in the original text? Wasn't in the original? No. Nope. Jesus didn't put it there? No, he didn't. Okay. And what else is different about this than my, my big Bible? So there's no footnotes. No footnotes. No cross references. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it's a reference book anymore, does it? No, it feels like a paperback that I might read on the train or, yep. or by the pool. And it looks like they've changed the order of the books. They have. Is that allowed? Yes, it's allowed. Doesn't, doesn't Jesus come and smite you if you do that? No. Oh, okay. No, what they've done is they've put the books together that were written by the same people. So oh. the letters that Paul wrote are all okay. together. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Put Luke and Acts together because they were both written by Luke. John's writing is all together. So when you start to read through, yeah. you're thinking about who's writing the book as well, and you'll see that there's similar kinds of writing. There also read. seems to be a reading plan in here. Is that the there idea? There is, because they've worked out that if you read about 10 pages a day, five days a week, you can read the whole New Testament in eight weeks. Okay, that's very good. So that's uh, 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 seven seven chapters a day. Seven pages a day. Seven pages a day, not chapters, so aren't, aren't chapters, yeah, seven pages a day, yeah. Seven okay. days a week, seven or days. 50 pages a day, one day a week. But that's how you, that's, that's the Casual <laughs> Chrome version. Okay. So you're suggesting, not just that we do it, but that the whole of our church does yep. this in the new year. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get hold of one of these books. We do, yeah. yeah. How do we yep. do that? So if you go to Church Suite and sign up on Church Suite, and we can help with that if anybody's struggling with that. And when you sign up, obviously there is a cost to the books. So the books cost £10 each, but we want everybody to take part in this. So we don't want money to be an issue. So there's options of how much you pay. You can pay half the money and pay £5 for a book. You can pay your £10 right. for a book. Or you could even buy a book for somebody else. If you've got a little bit of extra money and you want to bless somebody with a copy of this. I'll buy your book. You could buy that. That would be nice of you. Thanks, but that's actually my copy. Ah, right. You can buy me one then. <laughs> so you're suggesting that we, that all of us, or as many as us want to in the new year, we get together and we, we read this together yep. over eight weeks. Is yep. there anything else that we might so do? So during the week, we'll go and we'll each do our reading. And then we come together once a week. So we'll have a daytime option and an evening option. Um, and we get together and we discuss what God's been saying to us in it. What's stood out, what's encouraged us, what questions we've got, and we can chat about it in small groups. So there might be lots of high groups that want to come and take part together. People might want to sign up on their own, but they will all actually work through this together as a church. What's not to like? Exactly, reading the Bible together. Brilliant.